it's Tracy here. Today I'm going to be making a card using the Lawn Fawn Critters on the Farm stamp set. I'm going to start with a piece of watercolor cardstock and usually I use this watercolor cardstock for the background but I'm actually just going to stamp my image on it today and there is the side that has more texture and then the flat side. I'm going to use the smooth side or the flat side for this. So I'm choosing the little cow image and I'll just put that on my acrylic block and then I'm going to stamp this with some VersaFine ink. This is the black because I am going to use my distress markers and some water to color that image in. So it's just the ink that you want to use when you use any water-based product because it won't bleed. So I'm just going to color this in with a couple different distress markers. I have the Walnut Stain, which is a dark brown color, and I have my water brush. So I'm just trying to get some of the water flowing through that brush. And then I'll go ahead and color in the image. Um, you can see I do have a baby wipe in my hand. I'm just using that to kind of get some of the ink off from my brush so that I can build up that color. Um, this way I can take more color off. You can see I'm kind of swiping that so that you get more of a shadow effect. So when I like to build color with these, I kind of just put a little bit more of the color and then put it towards one area. And if you keep going over that, it'll just allow the color to build. And also if you let some of it dry it's a lot easier to build that color on top of each other. You can see how in that one spot part of it is a little bit darker. And then I'm going to color in the rest of the cow with my antique linen. And I did squirt a little bit of water on my nonstick craft sheet. Um, I wanted this color to be very light so that is why I put some extra water on there just so that I could really um, saturate that and not have it be such a dark brown. So I'm just coloring that in and then the parts that I want the shadow, I pick up a little bit more color and just place that on there so that it um, creates that shadow effect and it gets a little bit darker. You could also mix some of your colors together so you can see I put a, just a tiny bit of the walnut stain on there just so that I could get that color a little bit darker. And if you don't like something with the water, you can usually go over it with a little bit of water and then pick up the color so that it um, is not quite as strong. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of pink for the nose and the udder, so I have the spun sugar. So I'll just put a little bit of pink on those areas. And then I went ahead and fussy cut this image out. I let it dry completely though before I did that. So now I have a piece of white cardstock, and I am just using the Broken China Distress Ink, and you can see I'm kind of starting in the middle. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing here. It's kind of hard to explain it, but this is going to be the background. So I just want a little bit of blue, and that spot that you can really see that blue is not really going to show because I'm going to cover that up. So I took a piece of pattern paper, or two strips of pattern paper, from Echo Park We Are Family 6x6 paper pad. I had this left over from a different project. So I am going to cut that with the grassy border die from Lawn Fawn. I'll cut both of those strips out with my cuddle bug. So I'll just go ahead and place that die on there and then um, secure it into place with a little bit of washi tape. And then I can go ahead and run that through my cuddle bug. And I'm going to do that with both of those strips of pattern paper. This is a little bit of a scene card, but not like a full blown scene. There's just going to be the grass and the sky and everything. And it's just going to be in a small area, which you will see later on. All right, so I cut both of those out, and I can go ahead and take them out of my cuddle bug. And then I'm going to take my background that I colored with that blue Distress ink. And you can see I'm just kind of placing how I want that to go. And then I'm actually going to cut this whole scene out with a circle die from Spellbinders. So I'm going to take this and kind of place it so that I know 
how much grass I need on the bottom because I'm obviously going to need a little bit more. So I'll just go ahead and cut both of those strips in half. And then that will give me double the amount of grass that I need. So I have four strips now. And I'll go ahead and I'm actually going to ink up two of those with a little bit of forest moss. I'm just putting that on the edges. That way it creates a little bit of difference between each of the blades of grass so that they don't all kind of blend in together. It just makes it a little bit darker. Alright, so now I can go ahead and adhere those on to that piece of white cardstock. I'm just using a little bit of my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I'll start with the top one. And then I'm just going to place this one a little bit lower than that other one. So you can see it's going to be a whole scene full of grass. And then I'll just adhere the other two into place as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my circle die and just place that right over that whole scene. And then I'll secure that into place with my washi tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with my cuddle bug. Um, just so you're aware, if some depending on how many layers of grass you have, it might be a little bit tricky to run through your cuddle bug. Um, so you just want to be aware of that. This one actually wasn't too bad and I did run it through twice just to make sure that all of those layers were cut out. Alright, so I can go ahead and remove that. Alright, and when I did do that, there was a little tiny bit of white you can see on the bottom. I just went ahead and cut that off. Alright, so now I have my A2 size card base. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide my cow in between a few of those layers of grass. Just to make sure that's where I want it. And then when I know... Where I want the cow to go, I will just put some Tombow Mono Multi Glue on the back and then adhere it into place. So I'll just slide it in there and then push down for a few seconds just to make sure that it is secure. And then I'm adding a little bit more of the broken china around the edge. Um, the background was just blending in a little bit too much into the card base for me. So you can see what I'm going to do next. I'm actually going to add a little bit more color. I'm going to take the Salty Ocean Distress Ink. And then I am going to ink that right on the back of my, or right on the front of my card base. So I'm just working in a circle. And this is, the center of the circle is going to be covered up by the grass and the cow and everything. So that is kind of where I started it, and I'm just working my way out from that center just so that it, there's kind of that blue shadow behind my circle, and it's really going to make it pop a lot more. So I'm just adding the ink on there, and then I'll go ahead and place the cow in grass circle over that just to make sure it is completely covered and how I like it. And then I can always go back and add some more ink in there. So there's a few areas where I thought it could use a little bit more ink. So then I'll just go ahead and add some more on there. And that's the nice thing about working out from that center. You're not going to see that huge kind of pool of ink in the middle there. It'll just be more of the shadow along the edge. So then I can go ahead and adhere that down. And I actually adhered it into place with my ATG gun, but since there was so much ink on the background, it wasn't sticking very well. So I went ahead and adhered that with my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. The liquid glue just works a little bit better on top of the Distress ink. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And I'm stamping that with the same ink that I stamped the cow with, the VersaFine Onyx Black, just to make sure that all of my black inks match on my card. And then that is my finished card for today. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you back here next time. Bye!